Hello, noble knitter. Have I got a gorgeous stitch pattern for you today. It is called the woven herringbone stitch and it definitely has a front and back to it. You'll see that it makes this gorgeous herringbone looking stitch pattern on the front. So let's not wait around any longer. Let's dive right in. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. For this swatch, I used a pair of size 11 needles, a tapestry needle, a pair of small scissors, and a skein of Universal Yarns Deluxe Bulky Superwash Yarn. Universal sent me a skein of this yarn so I could try it out and I love it. So I will provide links to it in the description below. I'll start my swatch by making a slip knot and this swatch uses a multiple, I should say this herringbone stitch uses a multiple of three plus one stitch to make the pattern. So I'm going to cast on 19 stitches for my swatch. I use the long tail cast on to put my stitches on the needle and I find it's a really nice sturdy go-to cast on for most of my projects. So if you'd like to learn how to do it, click this link above. When you've finished casting on, always take a moment to count that you have the appropriate number of stitches on your needle and make sure that they're not too tight, that they can glide gently on your needle. For row one, we're going to knit the first stitch. Then we're going to begin the repeat. We will yarn over. Then we're going to slip the next stitch from one needle to the other and then knit the next two stitches. Now we're going to take that slipped stitch we made and we're going to slide it up and over those two knit stitches we just made. And we will repeat. We're going to yarn over, so you'll wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, slip the next stitch, knit two stitches, and then slide that slipped stitch up and over those two knit stitches. Just keep repeating across. Yarn over, slip one, knit two, Pass the slip stitch over those two knit stitches. Yarn over, slip one, knit two, pass the slip stitch over the two knit stitches. And we're just going to keep repeating this all the way across the row. Row two is almost identical to row one, except you're purling across instead of knitting. So we're going to purl that first stitch then yarn over. As you can see, I wrap the yarn counterclockwise, slip the next stitch, purl those next two stitches, and then slide that slip stitch up and over those two purl stitches. So yarn over, slip one, purl two, and then slide that, pass that slip stitch over those two purl stitches we just made and we'll keep repeating this all the way across the row. Repeat rows one and two, and now you can see after just a few rows how this herringbone stitch pattern is working up. Now here's the pattern written out for you. You can see it's a multiple of three stitches plus one stitch, and then you'll just keep repeating these two rows until you get to the desired length. I create a new stitch pattern every Sunday, so be sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. To see another stitch pattern, click this video in the top left, and below it you'll see what YouTube recommends. I'll see you in the next video.